This is for the culture. What's up, everybody? This is Dr. C.I., and welcome back to For the Culture. In honor of Black History Month, the thing that we're going to be discussing today is everyday words and phrases that have common racist connotations that you didn't know that you use in everyday language. And so our goal today is to provide education for you so that you understand why you shouldn't use these words. All right. Now, first up is the word master bedroom. Now, most of the time you hear this phrase when people say we have a master bedroom in our home, for example. Now, this first appeared in 1926 in the Sears catalog, according to a blog by Trelora, in which they talked about a master bedroom in a Dutch colonial home. But one of the issues with the master bedroom is that the reason it's called the master bedroom is based on the mansions and houses that they had on slave plantations where the master lived. And so the bedroom with the private bathroom that was for the master and his family was considered the master bedroom and therefore is related directly to slavery and we ask people to take it out of their vocabulary. The next is the word master and slave that we use in computer technology. Now, if you haven't heard this terminology, this is often referred to and used when you are talking about coding languages. So they refer to like programming languages in the world as master slash slave, right? And so if you are using terms like master slash slave, you have to eliminate them, not all, not just from technology, but this is also something that is used in the music industry when they are recording two different versions of a song, right? One is the master copy, one is the slave copy. So we need to take that out of our vocabulary, right? You can call it primary or secondary or whatever, but stop using the term slave and master because it has a very racist connotation. If you haven't heard of the next one, it is the blacklist slash whitelist. Now in tech, this could refer to specific elements such as email addresses, IP addresses, and URLs, etc., that are blocked. We call those a black list, which also can mean that if something is affiliated with the term black, it is seen as negative. You also see in tech they have a whitelist, which is made up of different elements that are approved. Right. And so when you hear blacklist versus whitelist, you have to think about the negative connotations behind this. And I would encourage developers to use terms like block list and allow list. Right. Instead of uh, what you call list. And going back to the master bedroom, I am encouraging you to use terms like the main bedroom as opposed to the master bedroom. OK. Uh, next is grandfathered in. So usually when we talk about the word grandfathered in, people don't understand that that directly relates to the grandfather clause in which at the time when we passed the amendment that allows slaves to vote in the United States, what happened is laws were created to stop slaves from voting, for example, called the grandfather clause, which means that if your grandparents weren't allowed to vote, you weren't allowed to vote. Now, when we say people are being grandfathered in, what that meant is that they were ushering whites into the voting poll in order to allow them the freedom and the right to vote as human beings that they did not give to black people. So therefore, we have to get rid of the word grandfather in. OK. Another term that we use is clean. Now, this doesn't have a negative connotation as far as racism, but it has a negative connotation when it comes to someone who may be impacted by some sort of sexually transmitted disease. So, for example, you hear people ask one another the term, are you clean? Well, what that means and what the implications are is that you are saying that someone is dirty. And when you say that they are dirty, that means that you are implying that if they have an STD, they have lived a dirty life or they are a filthy person and it dehumanizes them. So as opposed to saying dirty, you want to say, are you positive or are you negative? Last but not least is holding down the fort. Now, this is a racist term because what this refers to is how colonizers would hold down forts for example when they were taking away native land from native americans that was rightfully theirs 
right? And so the slaughter of Native Americans due to war and battles and fighting for their lands is followed by terms like holding down the fort. So instead of saying you're going to hold down the fort, you can say I'm going to keep watch over everything or I'll be the person that is in charge of this event to make sure that things happen. But stop saying holding down the fort. Now, this is Dr. C.I. I hope you've learned your lesson uh, about what kind of language you should or shouldn't be using if and when you are discussing everyday things and using terms that could involve racism. Thank you for your time. Uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. Don't forget to like and share our video or promote our merchandise at our shop. And the link is in the description. Thank you. We appreciate you. Have a great day.